Hey guys, uh, this is Gaurav. Welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. In this video, we will talk about how to create your personal developer instance or how to request for your uh, personal developer instance from ServiceNow. So, let me just tell you a uh, little bit about personal developer instance. So, ServiceNow provides you a facility so that you can practice yourself, you can customize yourself in your own personal developer instance. And, and that's not related to any kind of production instance. It's totally different from any production environment like you're in your organization or any company. So if you are a ServiceNow developer or you want to become a ServiceNow developer and you want to test or you want to learn uh, with, with customizations of uh, different forms, uh, different uh, tables in ServiceNow, then you can use this personal developer instance and, and you can do anything you want as per your requirement. So uh, to request for ServiceNow uh, developer instance, you have to go to this link and this link is developer.servicenow.com so this is the link where you have to go and you have to register for your instance now before uh, requesting an instance uh, I'll just tell you some, some basic points or you can say important points about this instance so uh, personal developer instance expires in 10 days if you do not perform any kind of development activity. So uh, when you will create this instance, you have to keep in mind that you have to keep on working. You, can, you have to keep on developing things in that particular instance. Otherwise, you will lose that particular instance in 10 days. So this instance expires in 10 days and the activity which here it's talking about it's not just like you're just creating a racket so activity is measured by conducting developer type activities on your instance creating an application creating a table adding a field to a table or adding a script include are all examples of activity that will count towards keeping your instance. If you are in question about an activity and if it will count, select refresh status action on the manage instance page, which will update the inactivity counter. I will show you later on about it. So all these kind of activities includes in the development activity. Yeah. So if you are thinking you are you are creating in uh, creating an incident that will not come under development activity. So you have to uh, customize your form. You have to create any application. You have to create any field. You have to create any table. Then only it will take as a development activity. Now I will show you how to register for your developer instance. So we have to go to developer.servicenow.com Okay, so this is the home page for that developer uh, website, you can say. Now you have to go to register. So this registration is not only for your uh, personal instance, it is also for learning perspective. So it will, it will have some documentation, it will have some uh, learning programs so that you can learn, you can create your different uh, tables, applications. Okay, so now we are here in the registration page. So I can just uh, give my name, Gaurav, and the last name is Tripathi. 
and then I can just put my email address so I'm just giving the password okay and then it's asking me to put the characters so I'm just putting it now I have read and agree the agreement okay then click on submit Great. So it's registered now. It's not registered completely, but it has sent an email in my inbox. So let's take a look for the email. Okay, I can go to here. I can go to Outlook.com. Now I am in my email and you can see this email which I have received from ServiceNow so it says welcome to ServiceNow developer program so please validate your email so uh, it is asking me to uh, click on below link so that I can register for it okay so I will do one thing I will just pick this email I can open in a different so when you click on that link uh, it will open up a new window and you will see your account is now active and you can click on sign in Now it will ask you to uh, sign in with the same email address and password. So I put my password, press enter. Okay, so I'm signed in. You can see my name here. Now it's uh, just asking you to accept agreement so if I go to the bottom I click here I click on submit now it is asking me what this best describes you okay so are you a developer okay I am independent developer you can say that then what do you want to do learn about the platform okay I can choose the country and company I don't want to show it right now so it's XYZ and I click on submit okay so as I told you earlier that uh, while registering into this developer environment you're not on, not only getting instance but you you will also learn about different courses so you can see my courses and if you go here it is developer partner some some uh, frequent asked questions then if you want to learn then you can go through training and documentation about developers developing uh, in service now instance then you have some uh, information about api's that this is manage instance so here you can go through and you can register for your instance and this is developer community where you can uh, we, you can chat with different people in that community with different developers if you have any questions you can ask that so now I will let you know how to request for the instance so you will also see 
that in the right hand side it says my instance and it says you can request an instance of service now free of charge in order to retain the instance you must have a minimum amount of activity on the instance or the instance will be returned to the pool so as I told you so the limitation is 10 days so uh, if you will click request instance it will give you an instance so if I click request instance you can say that your personal developer instance will be reclaimed after 10 days of inactivity to understand how we track activity and other important information on your personal developer instance please see the FAQ. So this is how you uh, register for a developer instance. So you can click on uh, I understand. So if you will click on I understand it will create an instance for you and it will give you username and the password. I already have an instance with me so uh, I will not uh, re-register again because uh, I have some different emails so I have already registered so I already have uh, two instances uh, recently I registered for uh, Geneva uh, because currently ServiceNow is uh, giving this instance new instance with uh, Geneva version yeah it's not coming with Fuji version so I have uh, two versions Fuji and Geneva also which I just uh, registered uh, today and uh, I, I will definitely show it uh, show it to you okay so I'm not clicking right now I understand I will directly show you my instance which is currently in Geneva version so this is my developer instance and uh, I will log in here So this look is Geneva version and this is also UI version 16 so it's UI 16 so in service now we have a different user interface so we have UI 14 we have UI 15 we have UI 16 so with this Geneva version we have UI 16 so you can, you can see different applications same applications here now if you want to switch to UI 15 you have that facility you can click on the setting icon and then you can click here switch to UI 15 so now it looks like Fuji version but this is Geneva but it looks like that interface Now if you want to go back to uh, UI 16, you can click here and switch to UI 16. Now again, this is UI 16 of Geneva version. And now you can create your application, you can uh, change or customize any form here, you can learn. Uh, anything you are uh, creating any application in your organization and you want to test it here you can also do that so this is how you register for your personal instance and make sure that you are keep on developing things on every 10 days so so that you will not lose this particular instance so thanks for watching my video have a great day